In Button Willow, California, teams have gathered for the fourth race of the Work Series Championship. While many teams take shelter from the summer heat, RJ Racing prepares for yet another test session out on the track. The team discusses data gathered from the previous day and carefully prepares the car for the race that will be starting in just eight hours. Tire pressures, fuel levels, and engine data are recorded, and as the car departs for its last test run, the drivers consider the challenges they will face. Bud Willow, the track is a rhythm track. So one corner leads to the next. You really don't have a lot of time to think about where you're going or where you're gonna be. Um, you just have to kind of feel it as you're going around it. If you miss one turn, it could screw up the next couple turns for you. Um, and that's part of the challenge because you're gonna miss one turn here or there and just getting back on the on the pace and back on the rhythm is part of the fun. The challenge is definitely the competition. Uh, it's been nice to compete with a couple of teams in the Enduro Series this year. It's gonna be a nice close race at the end, we feel like. It's gonna come down to, you know, as usually does, the, uh, whoever gets the fastest pit stops done and whoever's clean during the race. As far as tire pressures, we're, you know, we're just using uh, the first we ran one session on them earlier today. So we're uh, just kind of going off of those numbers and trying to fix some of the uh, some of the air that was in our original guesses, our original attempts at the tire pressures. We always build our car to be a good endurance racing car, so it'll be good throughout the entirety of the stint. Uh, we, normally we come in uh, usually Friday night, but uh, yesterday we actually came in Friday morning. So that gave us a lot of more time for testing and practice and adjustments for uh, anything on the track that you know we weren't aware of. Yeah, we're really excited to get back on track for the fourth Western Endurance Racing Championship race uh, about seven o'clock tonight. Um, it'll stay light a little longer than usual, up to about eight thirty, we suspect. Today we're anticipating challenges for the race, including starting well into the back of the pack. There was a random draw for qualifying and we were fourth from the last. It comes down to fatigue. Uh, you'll see, you know, we have two drivers, but I know there's a lot of teams that use only one. So, you know, we make sure that we always stay hydrated. Uh, that way we have full energy, um, you know, for the entire race. When you're driving it, it mostly feels like you're going backwards on the track that you go clockwise around. Uh, with the exception of maybe turn two, maybe off ramp, um, where it's uh, it's a pretty difficult entry into the turn uh, because you're having to uh, you do a decent amount of trail braking and get the car slowed down a little bit before the turn um, you know, decreases in radius. The sun plays a factor when you're trying to spot, and the same thing goes for a driver. I know they usually they have to put tape on the top of their their visor because they have trouble trying to see the sun. Using data gathered from test sessions, RJ Racing has built a very competitive car and quickly climbs through the ranks. Able to outhandle and outaccelerate most other cars in its class, Rob finds himself in third place towards the end of his stint. As the gap closes between the RJ Racing Miata and the leaders, Rob achieves some of the fastest lap times he has clocked at this track. About halfway through the race, John prepares for his stint, and as the car reaches pit lane, crew springs into action. Well, John's awesome at racing at night, so we should be able to make up time and gain leads on a whole bunch of places. True to his reputation, John sprints ahead. Quickly gaining speed, he soon reaches first place, giving himself a comfortable gap from the next competitor. But entering the last half hour of the race, John starts to notice a problem. We can't use our ox lights because they're pointed Our second place competitor is 1.4 seconds behind us and gaining about a second and a half per lap, but now that he's right behind John, John should be able to use second place's lights to hopefully light our way. We have 13 minutes left in the race, it's going to go down to the wire. Despite setting solid lap times in nearly pitch black conditions, the next competitor quickly catches up, and unable to see the track, John finishes in second place. With this finish, RJ Racing has increased its first place lead in the Work Series Championship. New data gathered throughout the weekend will be used to improve the car for the team's next race. And as the team celebrates, 
they have stepped a little bit closer to a season victory.